Welcome back to Perfectly Calm Gaming. Uh, we are back here in Orlando. Uh, all I did off camera was I upgraded the Pyromancy Flame a little bit, and I got some items from the uh, Snuggly the Crow. Snuggly! I got this thing, the Demon Great Hammer, which I can't use because it weighs a lot, I think. 46 strength, so yeah, I'm not going to be using that. And we are going to make our way through Anor Londo now. Yay! Yay! Anor Londo is one of the coolest looking areas in the game. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But Anor Londo holds the worst boss fight. Of all time. Of all time. And by all of time, we mean all of it. Every single time. Not like, ha ha ha, all of time. No, like, seriously. Like... I've not found a single person that likes the Orange Dean and Smog fight. Oh, this is a, Oh, hey, it's one of these guys. Yeah, they're just regular enemies now. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't think these ones shoot fire, though. Oh, that's nice. Oh. It's okay, buddy. You used to be difficult. But well, now forgive me is halberd. Nope. Yeah, their halberd is actually pretty good, and I've used it before for one of my playthroughs. Yeah. It's just the tail is all. The tail axe is um. But <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit too floppy for my liking. It's a uh, Satan's dick in <laughs> Dante's Inferno. Yeah, pretty much. God, I still can't believe that they bothered to put the twelve-inch floppy penis on. <laughs> yeah, you just love it. It's just hilarious to watch because literally it's got, it's got the same physics as the boobs from any Team Ninja game. Team Ninja, like Dead or Alive. Oh yeah. So the random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, that's what physics. his dick does as you're trying to fight him. And I bet someone had a good time animating that. I hope it was just like a dude who was super straight like beforehand. And now he's just like, <laughs> no, he's gay, okay. he's super gay. <laughs> and they're like, so uh, what changed? What what in your life changed you? Well, I just had to spend like a year animating this floppy dick on <laughs> Satan, and I fell in love. It just, oh, it just looked so nice. It's <laughs> just, I'm gay for big boys. <laughs> they gotta be well hung, well endowed. Oh, look at this bitch. God, that must be a boring so life. I just cut down that chandelier. Sweet. Yeah, that must be a boring life just, just standing, standing up here like... Yeah, they're the painted world guardians. In case someone comes up here. Oh, you're heading off to the painting? Yeah. Cool. It's right below me. Oh! That's so good. Oh, you're doing a ton of damage to these guys. Well, I do have a plus 10 claymore right now. True. And then you said you get the biggest ember. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, sucks me. That will be later on. I have to beat Ornstein and Smog to even get to that area. Oh, dang. Might as well open this. Oh. Okay. I think there's an item down here. I honestly don't remember, though. Oh. Oh, dang. He's a flippy little Yeah, these shit. guys are actually not that easy. Like, they don't... They die pretty easily, but they deal some serious damage. Yeah. Oh! It's S weird, though. Their swords... Like, you can get their swords, and their swords aren't even that good. Yeah. Oh, throwing knives. Yeah, I never use them. <laughs> Thwink. They're terrible. Are they? Yeah. That sucks. Oh, I was mistaken. I like a game with a good throwing knife. I can't think of any games that have good throwing knives. Rogue Legacy. Oh, yeah. I Yeah, I completely yeah, forgot about that. That was one of the best spells in Rogue Legacy, was the throwing daggers. It was one of my favorites, yeah. Just when you had the spell thief and it was upgraded. Yeah, it was the giant throwing dagger. Yeah. Let me into your painting. Wee. I'm glad you only had to spend that, like, a quarter of a turn to make it do that. Yeah. But I'm going to spin it again. Oh. 
<laughs> this gargoyle's just like, what's up? Are you gonna just stay down there? Because that'd be actually pretty nice if you just stayed down there. But I'm gonna need to go down there, so I'm just gonna. That did quite a bit to him. Yeah. Hi ya! Ha cha! Ho pa! Oh god. Oh no. Goodbye. Watch out! Hey, I got the halberd and the shield. Sweet! It made up for the other one not dropping anything. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Um. Oh no, this is what I wanted. Okay. I just wanted this bonfire. Oh. So behind this wall. Yeah. Is actually a secret boss fight. Really? Yes. Or is it like a good secret boss fight, or is it kind of just an eh? It's actually pretty good. It's um, I would only do it for the souls though. Oh, okay. Ring of the Suns. I don't even think I have the proper ring to open it. Isn't it just the one you picked up now? No. No, I don't think I have it. Okay. I think it's the Dark Moon Seance Ring. Uh huh. But time to go to the Painted World. We. Cause I got the bonfire. So, one shitty thing about the Painted World yeah. is once you're in it, yeah. you can't get out of it until you beat it. Oh, so you're stuck. Yeah, you're stuck there. So if you're just like not good enough to do it, yeah. you're, you're a shit out of luck. I'm sorry about your damn luck. Super cat. Huh. Lame. Oh, I <laughs> Uh, There's a lot of them in this room, so I want to kind of like pick them off one by one. True. <coughs> Haha. Dead. Oh, because I'm guessing you have to run all the way to the other side of the room. That's the giant painting. Oh. What's that in the middle? The chandelier that I made drop. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. He got the jump on me. Oh. Oh. I jump on him that time. Oh. Good. So good. So I thought we'd try something different with this video. Oh. So while Andy's killing all these guys, I'm going to review uh, Doritos Roulette. Um, uh, sad to say, I'm greatly uh, disappointed. I like them because they might. I might as well have just bought a bag of Doritos Inferno because the powder just gets all over the other chips, and they're all pretty spicy. Yeah. I was expecting some mild ones and then like a BAM! But since they're all kind of spicy, there's no... I think I told you that when you first got them too. No, once I started eating them because I said like, oh, they're all kind of just spicy. And you were like, yeah, that kind of just happens. Yeah. Yeah, just because um, I, I really wanted it to be more fearful of the bag. You wanted it just... to be like actual roulette. Yeah, I wanted it to be like, okay. Oh okay. god, oh god, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Oh. See, like, they can mess me up. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, I had a lot of souls, too. Shit. Oh, you have to get them back. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so uh, I give Doritos Roulette a uh, 7 out of 10. That's still pretty good. Still pretty good, but it's just, I was expecting more, so that's why I can't be higher. Fair enough. Woo, reviews. Oh, have you tried the Doritos Collisions, where it's like jalapeno and guacamole? No. Oh, it's so good. Are those really good? They're really good. I had the, um... What was the ones like? It was probably like the first collisions. I think it was like the taco and... Taco? No, it wasn't that one. Because originally, I think the one before, wasn't it like ranch and... I'm not sure. Something. But anyways, no, there was one and it was like the... Oh, basically, because you know how Taco Bell has like the Doritos taco or whatever? So I've heard. I went to Taco Bell just to see if they had it and they, they didn't. Wow. So I was like, oh, I don't even want it anymore. Yeah. I've never bought Taco Bell. I have a few times and it's really good if you're drunk or stoned. But if you're sober, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> like, really don't. Um, but yeah, so it was a bag of collisions and the one chip was like taco beef seasoning. And then the other one was the taco that they use for the... Like, the flavor of the chip they use for the taco? I only had this once, mm -hmm. and I don't even think they still make it. Yeah. But it was, like, a bag of Lay's, okay. and it was called, like, Late Night Cheeseburger. Yeah. And it tasted just like cheeseburgers, like McDonald's quality cheeseburgers. Okay. I was impressed that it was so accurate, but it was disgusting. Yeah. I was going to say, as soon as you said McDonald's quality cheeseburger. Like, it tasted exactly like it said it did. I yeah. can't deny that. It's very spot on but it was gross yeah 
It was weird. No, actually, my favorite Doritos flavor is actually the pickle. The oh, intense I, pickle. I, pickle is my favorite flavor of any chip. Like And popcorn. Man, and it's such a shame that Americans don't have that. It's a Canadian really? only flavor. That's interesting. Yeah. Usually the Americans have all the best flavors. I know, and then the Canadians have the eh flavors. Yeah. But, like, cool. I'm an okay fan of All Dressed, but it is a pretty bland flavor at the end oh, of the day. I love All Dressed. All Dressed Ruffles are the best. <coughs> yeah, they're really good. It's just, if you think about it, it's basically like a poor man's barbecue. I love it. Which is fine, because I don't like barbecue, so I like, I like the barbecue. fact that it's not... Yeah, I'm, I'm just not... At least not on chips. I think I don't know what it is. I like barbecue chips. See, I think I'd like to make my own barbecue chips. Try it. So that I, I know that the seasoning's not going to be, like, bland or shit. It's just since I've worked in kitchens and I've actually made barbecue sauce from scratch, I know what a good barbecue sauce can taste Fair like. Fair enough. Yeah, that makes sense. So, you know those, like, big Black Knight dudes that I've kept fighting that I was like, they're intimidating? Yeah. Yeah, I just got their armor. Sweet. As well as their sword and shield. That must be really heavy. It's very heavy, but I like their sword, the great sword. Yeah. Oh, I can actually use it. Holy shit. This sword yeah. in Dark Souls 2 is, like, five times the size of this. Oh, really? It's bigger than your character, and it looks like the Buster Sword. Yeah. But the Great Sword obviously isn't going to be as good as your Claymore is now. Not right now. If I upgraded it, it would be better, but it's yeah. really slow to swing. Uh, okay. So uh, we're going to do some Mario 64 right here. I wonder what drives your character to say, hey. Like, is there... Did they explain why he just randomly goes into a picture? Oh my god! Uh, 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 Silent Hill! No! Uh, 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 uh. God, what was the daughter's name in Silent Hill? Heather? No, I don't know. Heather that. Mason? Probably. Because it was Harry Mason, and then I think it was uh, Heather Mason. Heather! Heather! This place reminds Heather. me of Skyrim. It does. Heather! <laughs> Wait. It's like uh, Resident Evil 6. When uh, you're playing as the, any of the characters, actually, and then you're, like, waiting for someone to come help you open the door. Yeah. And be like, Helena, let's go. <laughs> Helena, come on. <laughs> Helena! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> uh, I know I've probably said this, but I, actually, I don't think I've said this in the videos, though. Resident Evil 6 is a great game, and it would have done better if it didn't have Resident Evil in the name. Yeah, if it wasn't a Resident Evil game, it would be fantastic. Yeah, it's just the problem is it's got Resident Evil in the title. Like, it's a solid game. It's fun. It's not scary in the slightest, no. though. And it's not exactly hard. No. But I've had a good time playing it. Especially when you do the, like, co-op with it. Yeah. It's good. I think it's a good co-op game. Yeah, it's a really good one, actually. But yeah, as, as a Resident Evil game itself, eh. So I think this is probably where we'll end the episode, I think. Yeah, probably. It's probably a good place to stop. Cool. So in the next episode, we will venture into this painted world of Skyrim. Woo! Okay, bye. Bye. Oh.